It might not be long until our first major winter weather event, but VDOT says it's already ready to go. With more than $200 million set aside in its budget, 8 News reporter Rachel Keller is live tonight in Richmond to explain how VDOT is gearing up for winter weather. Rachel. Hey, Deanna, that's right. More than $200 million has been set aside for winter weather. Due to the pandemic and a heavy snow season last year, the Virginia Department of Transportation has made some changes in order to be ready for whatever comes. The Virginia Department of Transportation has more than 2,500 crew members and nearly 11,000 pieces of snow removal equipment on standby for winter. Storm Tracker 8 meteorologist Matt DiNardo says ice storms were a problem in central Virginia last winter and there's a potential for more this upcoming season. We got just cold enough with warm air coming on in and it produced icing on areas. Ice causing vehicles to overturn. VDOT says it's ready with 706,000 thousand tons of salt and almost two and a half million gallons of drying agents. Our team also expects February to bring the bulk of our winter weather, but overall it should be mild. While the puffy coats are coming out, they're not going to be with us full time this winter. That's due to the La Nina pattern. Which is the cooling of the ocean waters west of Peru, South America. It's in the Pacific Ocean. It controls our weather patterns and it tends to bring us a milder winter and a slightly drier winter. Leonardo also forecasting a shorter winter. An average snow season here is about a foot of snow. We're thinking roughly eight to maybe eight and a half inches of snow, which is a little bit down. With an end to winter weather expected around the end of February or early March. Now, although we are expecting a milder winter, VDOT says that it's still important to have a winter weather driving plan. You can also check out our Storm Tracker 8 winter weather outlook for Central Virginia right on WRIC.com. In Richmond, Rachel Keller, 8 News.